Good day everyone, welcome to Singer Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing Tangent Second Exterior Angle Theorem. So the theorem stated that the measure of an angle formed by a tangent and a second of a circle intersecting at a point in the exterior of the circle is one half the absolute value of the difference of the measures of the intercepted arc. So it's just like the same as the tangent or two tangent exterior angle theorem. To better understand, let's have this illustration. So we have a circle and PE, PE is a second and RE is a tangent. So the measure of the exterior angle, let's say measure of angle AER R. So, the measure of the angle formed by a tangent, a tangent in a second, intersecting at a point in the exterior of the circle, so this is the angle, measure AER, is the equal sign, one half the absolute value of the difference of the measures of the intercepted R. So, we have the R, measure of R. PR minus the measure of the R A R. Okay. That would be our conclusion. The measure of the exterior angle is equal to one half of the measure of the intercepted arcs. The difference of the intercepted R PR minus A R. To better, un to better understand this theorem, let's try to solve some problems regarding this theorem. To better understand our theorem, let's try to solve the following problems. So in this case, we're going to find the angle 1. And in our second illustration, we're going to find the angle 2. So let's try to solve first angle 1. So the measure of the angle 1, the exterior angle. So 1 half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. We have 210 minus, we're going to find the measure of this arc. So 210 plus 100, that is 310. So we have here 50 degrees. Why 50? Because one revolution is equal to 360. So 50. Now we have one half. 210 minus 50, so we have 100, 160. To get the measure of angle 1, half of 160, we have 80 degrees. That will be the measure of angle 1, 80. Now let us proceed in our second example, or second problem. We're going to find the measure of angle 2. So let's say this is... 50 degrees, okay. First, find the measure of the intercepted arcs. So we have 190 and 50, that will give us 240. So this is 120 degrees. We can now get the measure of angle 2. That is 1 half of 120 minus 50. So 1 half of 120 minus 50, that is 70. Now, half of 70 is 35 degrees. So, that's the application of our theorem number 5. 